What's up gamers of YouTube and welcome to my Radeon R9 280 Dual X unboxing video. Um, that's a mouthful. First and foremost, I sold my two graphics cards I had ever since I built my first PC. Um, when I first built my PC, I had one Radeon HD 5770. And I had it for about a year and then I upgraded to another one. Had that ever since. So, so about, I'll say about three years or three or four years, somewhere around there, I'll say about three years. And it's been lasting. I've been playing games like Battlefield 3, The Witcher 2, um, Skyrim, um, any game that's came out recently that you can name besides like Battlefield 4 and stuff like that. But any games before that, like Crisis 2, um, max settings, more than 60 frames per second, um, Battlefield 3, single player, 60 frames per second, multiplayer, about 45 frames per second, maxed out. So... Those Radeon 5770s are super underrated and they're super powerful, but this bad boy right here, I went ahead and went with this. This is actually a Radeon HD 7970, but it's remade and a little bit more cheaper. And they have about like seven or eight different versions of this graphics card, which is a remake of the HD 7970. Um, the reason why I went with the HD 7970 AKA the R9 series of graphics cards instead of an NVIDIA graphics card. The NVIDIA graphics card that my boy, Bull Boy Kennels, had recommended for me about three months ago. That graphics card is around $500. Sometimes it goes up to $600, but most of the time it's around $520. And it's only 10 or 15 frames faster than this card. So I say, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get go with this for $300. And then later on down the line, get another one for about $200 when the price go down to like, you know, because these graphics cards drop down in price a lot. Sometimes they go back up, but most of the time they drop down and stay down. You know, later on down the line, about a half a year from now, six months from now, get another one of these, put them in Crossfire. Um, overclocked edition, three gigs of DDR5, the Dual X version. And I realized that these graphics cards, mainly when it comes to the, um, Radeon graphics cards, it's the it's a, it's equivalent to buying an HD TV. And the reason why I say that is because for example, you have different HD TVs and stuff like that, and each TV, even though it's a, it's the same size as a let's say you got a Sony TV that's 42 inches and you have a Philips TV that's 42 inches. They're both the same size, they're both 1080p, but depends on which manufacturer you go with, they offer certain features. This is gold membership requires for SSC gold membership Sapphire. Oh, it's my uh, ID ID number. Um, they both have their own little things they offer. So that's pretty much how these different cards are. All these R9 cards, they're pretty much almost all the same. But you know, each one has their own little in particular features and stuff like that that each manufacturer offers. If you go with theirs or whatever. One may be better at cooling, another one may be better at overclocking, the other one may be a be little bit clocked more higher or whatever right out the box. Another one may be, you know, as far as design, may be made with metal uh, materials and the back plate and all that stuff. So it all depends on your personal preference. Anyways, it comes with Molex to DVI or whatever. I don't need this. I don't got an old power supply. I got a gaming power supply. So, won't be needing that. Also, some more, you know, stuff. In this case, you got an older power supply. Crossfire bridge. You know, I will be putting this in crossfire. And the bad boy right here, before I even take this off the thing, actually, I'm going to go ahead strapped on my static wrist wrap. You know, I know a lot of people don't use this. You know, people say, oh, it's not necessary at, on most parts. It's not necessary most of the time, but you know, spend money on electronics, you don't want your money to go to waste. So, I'd rather take precautions. So here it is right here. It's about 11 inches long. I already watched a video on it, you know, to see the size of it and stuff like that. Like I said, this is a dual X version of it, of these graphics cards. Um, I really love how the uh, Radeon 7970 looked before they redesigned it and re, you know, did all these different versions. But 
you know, for an extra 70 or 60 bucks or 80 bucks, that design really ain't that damn worth it for an extra 80 bucks or whatever. So anyways, has two DVI ports, of course, HDMI, display port. There's the back. Some version of this got like a little metal back up on here to make it look more better or to protect the, you know, back of the card. Got all these little uh, heat pipes and stuff like that. Two fans. Yeah, man, as you can see, it's going to go up inside here. It takes, um, I believe, yep, eight pin and a six pin. So I got the uh, power supply where I can disconnect any cords I don't need and put the right ones in here. So here's my six pin. Here's my eight pin. It's going to go in like that. And we're going to be ready to go. Some of them even got this where it lights up and stuff like that, but this one doesn't. So the only thing I never liked about this power supply is that, you know, is this cable right here isn't long enough for me to run it through the back and bring it around the other side. So I don't know why they made this cable so so short that plugs into the motherboard. But anyways, go ahead and install this bad boy. Super easy to install a graphics card, you know, it's not hard at all. See if it's going to fit inside here. Yes, it is. Put it in right there. Push it on down. Make sure this little thing is up. Yep, that's good right there. Take both of my power components. I think that goes upside down like that. First, I'm plugging a six pin first. Plugging that six pin. Plug in an 8 pin. Been waiting for this damn graphics card all day. The mail ran extremely slow today. Yesterday was a holiday, so. Um, also, the first time ever experiencing this through Amazon, I ordered this graphics card, ordered two day shipping, and it didn't get to me in two days. And I had to call Amazon and let them know they gave me a refund. Two days after that, it still didn't get to me. It showed that it was still way somewhere else. So. You know, Amazon gave me a refund and gave me one day shipping, so I had to wait for this car for about a week. So I'm going to go ahead and screw those in. Just for the record, this graphics card is a little bit stronger than two Radeon HD 5770s. You know, each Radeon 5770 comes with two gigs, of, I mean one gig of DDR5. This single card comes with three gigs. This is uh, clocked faster than, both, faster than both of those cards put together. If you don't know what that means, that just means that, let's say if I got a Mustang and you got another Mustang, and my engine is a little bit more souped up than yours, so I got more horse, horsepower and more speed and, and, you know, I need to get another power supply. These cables would be being too damn stiff and a little bit too short, because I would run these from the back and bring them around right there, but, you know. So that was my installation and unboxing video. Hope you guys liked it. Can't wait to test this bad boy out with a lot of games. And I'm out. Hopefully I don't run into no issues. If I do, I sure will be posting the video. Peace!